Did Diddy's ex-assistant Capricorn just call him the devil? Whoa. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop-up video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show. One word. Hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and if you're watching on Facebook. Please be sure to crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel right here. Yeah, anyway, we got to jump into this story. Now, you already know Suge Knight did a interview or a podcast recently where he talked about things that he saw and things that he heard in the music industry when it comes to Diddy and Cassie. Now, if you guys are late to the party, Cassie did file a 35-page damaging, shocking lawsuit with mind-blowing allegations about what Diddy allegedly did to her over the over a decade-long relationship that she had with Diddy. Now, in this podcast, Suge Knight did say that Cassie was attacked by Diddy, and but then he also said something else there. He said that Diddy's assistant knew about the relationship that Kid Cudi and Cassie were having behind Diddy's back. She withheld that information, and because she withheld that information, she was viciously attacked by Diddy as well. And from what I'm understanding now, too, is that she was paid off because of the attack. Capricorn was his assistant. She was the global brand director for Sean John and for Bad Boy as well. But, of course, she parted ways from, from Diddy and from the companies and all that. And it's been very interesting. But now Diddy's ex-assistant, Capricorn has spoken out, or at least she's putting out posts on her Twitter or X, you know, AKA X, and she's had a lot of things to say. This is some crazy stuff. So let's take a look at these, these posts because yeah, she said some things and she really did call him the devil, which is crazy. And it says here, don't take the path of the wicked. Don't follow those who do evil. Stay away from the, that path. Don't even go near it. Turn around and go the other way. That's Proverbs 4.14. Then she continues saying, doors be unlocked. You got to be willing to walk away from the money. Full stop. 2011 was hell. Tragic kingdom. She's got Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, it, it, you know, a photo of Michelle Pfeiffer in there. And I think this is from the, the movie Scarface, if I'm my memory serves me correctly. And uh, if you don't know about Scarface, go and check that out because, you know, Scarface one classic movie, but Scarface was a monster. Okay. Long story short. All right. Um, so that must be a still from that. And then next to it, it says they're going to cross you for someone who uh, they're going to cross you for somebody who going to cross them. Then she says here, this is crazy. Black women end up being the sacrifice for the effery. 11 last 11 years of my life. I had to deal with everyone's, everyone's nonsensical allegiance to the devil. I pray that ends. I don't think highly of any of you. Can't keep your head down. Plus, pretend-ish is cool no more. Do better. And some emojis. Now, one thing I want to say is she is literally calling out everybody else, too. Now, I, I, I know that there's a lot of people that are going to be wondering, well, you're sitting here saying that, why weren't you speaking out back then? You see what I'm saying? And, you know, apparently at that time, she was keeping her head down too, in a way. But I leave that question up to you guys because that's still something new to me um, when it comes to Capricorn and this assistant. I'm wondering if she did try to help out during that time. I know she didn't say, allegedly, didn't say anything about Kid Cudi the, the relationship with Kid Cudi, but I'm wondering if she saw all this other, all this other A that happened in inside that that his Diddy's home and outside Diddy's home. I'm wondering, was she one of the people that kept her head down too the entire time and didn't say anything as well? But that's something I still have questions about. Okay, because um, like I like I said, Capricorn and her story is still very brand new to me. But nonetheless, she is still calling out the people that are still hiding in plain sight, 
keeping their mouth shut. For those for those of the people who were standing around and witnessing the amount of pain he inflicted on not only just Cassie, but other people as well, including Capricorn. She's calling out all those people and saying, how dare you not say nothing? OK, but his money game is. He got he got that long game money. You see what I'm saying? And this has to do with Kim. Kim Porter. All right. Now, the, everyone has been circulating. There's been a lot of speculation circulating around Kim Porter and the demise of Kim Porter. And if Diddy has his hand in her passing and all that, it's been very interesting. But this is interesting. They said she says uh, they will skin you and wear you, baby girl, then pretend they never wanted the skin. Kim was the only person who didn't switch up. The on, the only one dark times. I'm personally very triggered. I pray it's over. I never deser deserve this. Stop. Okay. Now, I'm wondering about that, too. Like, what is she trying to say here? You see what I'm saying? You know, sometimes I wish they would, they would just pull out all, say everything. And I get you only get 150 uh, uh, characters for the most part if you're not paying into X or Twitter. Uh, but still, I just sometimes I just wish they would just kind of fill in the blanks a little bit with more explanation. You see what I'm saying? With more exposition so we know what the hell you're talking about fully. But hey, no matter what, I'm still wondering, okay, they they skin you and, and wear you, baby girl, then pretend they never wanted the skin. She Kim was the only person who didn't switch up. The only one. Dark times. I'm personally triggered. I mean, to me, I feel like she knows some things that Kim may have known as well or that Kim went through, but apparently Kim kept it 100. Maybe. I don't know. But like I said, so many questions. I'm hearing rumors about Kim having a having a book and that book never saw the light of day, but apparently that was a book that was going to uh, expose so much about Diddy as well. It's very interesting. And now, in this post, she's talking about, obviously, it's Kid Cudi. Come on, okay? But just a quick reminder, as I said in the beginning, apparently, allegedly, Capricorn was withholding the information about Cassie having a relationship with Kid Cudi. She withheld that information from Diddy. Once Diddy found out, apparently he got mad and he put his paws on not only Cassie, but also Capricorn as well. So much that allegedly he paid her off so that uh, he wouldn't go see, he wouldn't see the inside of the jail cell. But he also retaliated against Kid Cudi, okay, with making the car, making Kid Cudi's car go boom. And she talks about it right here. Crazy. So the, uh, you know, the bang, bang. Okay. The boom, boom. Got to use these code words. Unfortunately was under the passenger side. <clears throat> Nobody outside the car factory knew there was a metal plate under the driver seat. Now, let me, let me just say this. This is obviously from the movie casino. If you haven't seen like she's quoting that. Okay. Now, if you don't know about casino, this is a very infamous movie uh, and infamous scene in the movie where the, the 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 main character and hopefully I'm not spoiling anything for you guys, but he basically gets he survives his car going boom. OK, and uh, one of the pieces is that, yeah, there was a metal plate under the driver's seat so that it would protect them. It, it protected him during this particular explosion. But nonetheless, pretty crazy uh, post pretty crazy crazy post in my personal opinion so capricorn does speak out as you see here and clearly she has a lot to say about the situation but i'm wondering if she's going to speak out any any more than just this i mean i understand she's probably scared probably worried but at the same time cassie did kind of kick the gate open kick the door down uh and made and is possibly making Diddy a lot more vulnerable right now. This would be the perfect time to attack, to 
get the word out there to speak her story uh, and what she saw with her own two eyes. Because now people are finally listening. People are starting to finally believe the allegations that have been set upon him for decades. Shoot, people are re-watching Gene Deal's old interviews and, and Gina H's old interview, reliving all this stuff and gathering everything. Everything's starting to add up again. So I'm wondering if she is going to speak out more than just a few tweets, because I'm sure there's a lot more information that she knows that would be extremely telling and maybe help some of these other alleged victims get the justice that they rightfully deserve. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Where do you stand on this? I mean, to me, she's echoing a lot of the things that are being uh, accused from at least Cassie's side of things. But as far as everybody else that's out here that witnessed things, she does call them out. And I agree. If you saw something and you aren't talking about it, you haven't talked about it, I don't know why you haven't. It's interesting. And I get fear and all that. But right now, this monster is, he's shown some weaknesses. It, and I will also say this, if anything was to happen to you now, now people would be able to do all the reverse math and, and it would go all back, back over to Diddy. Okay. So I feel that the fear of that should go away by now. All right. But that's just my thoughts, okay? Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hit that like button down below. Crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And, of course, if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to crush that follow button on my Facebook page. It'd be great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family on both platforms. Anyway, guys, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L You are now rocking with that dude Pascal We be going wild